Hello everyone, so today I'm back with another favorites video, specifically summer favorites, and I have so many products in front of me. I know I say that in every one of these like favorites videos, but let me just tell you, I have so many products in all different categories, keeping the focus on beauty. I do want to do a separate video of like other summer favorites, like fashion, accessories, all of that. Let me know if you guys want to see that. But like I said, today we're focusing on beauty and we've got everything. We've got makeup, we've got skincare, we've got uh, body care, we've got a lot of products. So let's just go ahead and get started. And also, as always, when I do these favorites videos, I am wearing all of the products that I mentioned today on my face and you will see a demo of everything because I do want you guys to see how the products actually apply on my skin. I feel like it's really important to do so. And also, as always, everything's linked below. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with today's sponsor, which is Shiseido. And I have to say, I'm so excited to be working with them. You guys, if you haven't following me now for years, not months, not weeks, years, you know how much I love the Shiseido Ultimate Sun Protector Lotion. Well, now they have reformulated it, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the reformulation, why I love this in one second. I also just have to call out that it does come in two different sizes here. I usually keep the little mini one whenever I'm on the go. We've been taking Kobe on so many walks, especially during quarantine, um, or we've been going running, and I keep the little mini one with me um, on the go, so I use it when I need it. But I have the larger size here sitting on my desk, and this has been my go-to um, SPF product that I love. First of all, I have to say, because I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask, this goes on completely clear. So all different skin types can use it. I actually wanna show you guys the consistency as well because it is like this very runny texture and when you massage it in, like I said, it goes on completely clear. It leaves a beautiful glow on your skin and because it has that more runny texture, it's so lightweight on the skin. And boom, you can see my skin has already just quickly absorbed this and now you can put on your makeup right on top. And it just layers perfectly under makeup. Um, unlike a lot of SPF products that can feel super heavy on the skin, this does not do that. So I love the actual like texture of it, the finish of it, it's great. But I also wanna tell you guys a little bit about their Wet Force and Heat Force technology. And I'm actually just gonna pull it up directly on their website because I haven't really seen other SPF products ever talk about this or include this type of technology. So I think it's so cool that Shiseido is doing that. So it says, our newest innovation built on wet force technology and the addition of heat force technology. Together they create Synchro Shield, an invisible lightweight protective veil that strengthens by water and heat, which is so amazing. So you can totally wear this in the water when it's really hot outside and it's actually going to work even better to protect your skin from the sun, which is incredible. I also just wanna say that this new formula is formulated without oxybenzone as well as oxy, oh my gosh, I hope I can pronounce this size. Oxinate, oxinate, oh my gosh. I'll put the name right on the um, screen of the ingredients. So it's formulated without making it ocean friendly as well. Have to give a huge shout out to Shiseido for reformulating this product to make it environmental friendly. So I'm gonna go ahead and link both of these products for you guys in the description box below, the smaller size as well as the larger size. Trust me, once you try this, you guys are gonna fall in love. Just wanna also add, you can use this on your face as well as your body and Speaking of body, I have another product to share with you guys to add a beautiful glow that I'm obsessed with. And I'm kind of running like halfway, I'm like halfway done with this and it makes me really sad. So this is from a brand called Soul. Um, this is the Glow Oil. I want to say that this is a sister company of ColourPop. I'll make sure to check that. But anyway, this is in the shade of Golden. Oh my gosh, if you're looking for a body glow product that is going to make your skin look so healthy and glowy and dewy and stunning, you need this product in your life. So I use this on my chest today and my skin in person as well as my viewfinder here, my camera here, it just looks so healthy. And let me just tell you, no matter what time of year it is, no matter what time of day it is, my skin is always so dry head to toe. And I'm always, in the summertime specifically, looking for products that are going to add this beautiful glow to my skin, especially because I'm wearing like spaghetti tops, dresses, shorts, skirts, all of that. 
I want that beautiful glow, you know? And this is the product that I have been using. The only complaint that I have with this is that I'm gonna run out very quickly. This is not very big at all. And I like to use, like if I'm wearing, using it kind of like, you know, my chest, arms, legs, I like to use like a couple of pumps. So I will go through this pretty quickly, but I really like it. All right, next up I have a little facial mist. Um, this is from a brand called Rosen. And this is the Rose Water Phase 2, and this has rose water, rose hip oil, and this is a hydrating mist for glowing skin. And let me tell you, this is going to give you such a beautiful glow to your skin. So I don't know if you guys can tell or not. See how there's like a clear separation? And this is like the rose water and then the rose hip oil. Well, you just want to really mix it up really good and then use it and spray it all over your face. And this is going to like seriously add such a beautiful glow to your skin without making you look oily. So I usually keep this on my table whenever I'm working, especially now in the summertime. It gets so hot, right? And like whenever I need like a quick like refresher, I'm like, oh, my skin just feels really dry. And just spray it like that. And like I said, this doesn't like make your face oily or anything like that, but it adds a very subtle, beautiful glow. All right, what's next? I think we should jump into makeup because I also have a ton of makeup products to share today. And I'll start off in the order that I used my, or did my makeup. That's how I usually like to do these videos. You guys already know. The first thing, and I've talked about this so many times at this point. So this is the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil in the shade Golden Camel. Camel? Yes, Golden Camel. And I love this. Now, I'm actually currently working and testing out a few different tinted moisturizers. Some of them I like. A lot of them just did not work for me. I don't know what it is when it comes to tinted moisturizers, even from a brand that creates a beautiful foundation for my skin tone that matches me perfectly. They just can't get tinted moisturizers right. Like it's always just too pink. When I put it on my face, it makes me look great. You guys know what I'm talking about if you have like a, you know, very yellow undertone like me. Well, this is one of the only foundations, not foundations, tinted moisturizers that I have found with the perfect undertone for my skin. Like it literally blend, blends right in and I'm wearing it on my skin today. What I actually did was I applied a very full coverage concealer underneath my eyes and that's what I normally like to do whenever I'm wearing a tinted moisturizer to just like even everything out. This specifically, I just have to give a huge shout out to just because it's so affordable. The color match is epic. If you're close to my skin tone, buy this. You will not regret this. I'm running low on this. I'm going to order like two or three more because I just love this. And I like find myself using this seriously all the time. Right, now let's talk about some bronzers. And normally, I prefer cooler or neutral bronzers because I also like to contour with them. But I tried this one. And I just fell in love with how warm it is, which is so not like me. But I'll show you exactly what it is, and you guys will see it on the demo. So this is the new NARS Matte Laguna Bronzer. This is actually different from their original Laguna Bronzer, which is a little bit more neutral undertone. This is very warm, but I love it. Like, I love it on my skin today. I just kind of, like, apply this all over, not just on the side of my face. I apply the most of it on my face, like on the side of my face to kind of contour lightly with it. But then I just take my brush and apply it everywhere and it adds such a beautiful warmth to my skin. It's just stunning. Um, and like I said, I normally don't like, you know, warmer bronzers, but I feel like in the summertime it gives you that, that beautiful warm glow and this is the one that I've been reaching for. So I really like this if you guys are looking for a warm tone bronzer. Next up, this blush, you guys, this is so such an amazing blush and I'm actually going to also demo it for you guys one more time because I feel like my light is really washing it out. It looks really good in person but I just want to kind of touch up a little bit on camera for you guys. So when it comes to cream blushes, I really recommend using like a stippling brush like this or your fingers. I just feel like those two work the best. I used to, I've used like sponges in the past and all but I really love using a stippling brush and this just adds the perfect pink tint on your cheeks. I don't have that many because I normally prefer like powder blushes, but this is just so easy to use and you really can't mess it up. For highlight, I love, 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 love Becca's Opal. I just have to say, I feel like for a while, for a long time actually, Becca really kind of owns the highlight space. And now there's so many new brands and it's just kind of, people have kind of like moved away from Becca. 
but in my honest opinion they still make some of the best highlights that I own in my collection because they're just so they're just so buttery and smooth they go on almost like a liquid highlight but of course this is a powder highlight look at how gorgeous this is I also did apply it underneath my brow bone so this whole entire area it is beautiful. I'm going to be using this all summer long. I also love some other shades from Becca, like Champagne Pop is beautiful. But right now I'm just reaching for this because I find this a little bit even more wearable than Champagne Pop. So if you haven't looked at Opal from Becca, definitely check them out. They're great. Um, this is a great shade that I think is going to also work for a lot of different skin tones. Next up, let's talk about eyeshadow palettes. I actually have two eyeshadow palettes, both from Urban Decay. Um, so the first is the Urban Decay Naked Heat. I mean, you guys know warm tones are so my thing. And this is the palette that I just have been using every single day whenever I do my eyeshadows. This is it right here. I know all the colors look very similar, but actually when you start to use it, they're so different and there's so much you can do with this palette here. So I really love it. If you love warm tones like me, this is a palette that you'll have for a very long time. And like I said, you can use this on so many in so many different ways for so many different occasions. A very practical palette, again, only if you like warm tones. They also recently launched the Naked Ultraviolet, and this is what it looks like. If you love purples, I think you're going to love this. Now, I actually don't wear a lot of color on my eyes. You guys already know that. I'm very much like a neutrals girl. But when I do wear colors on my eyes, it's normally purples. I just think that they work so beautifully on my skin. And today also, it like worked with my dress. So I was like, all right, let's do a fun purple eye. But it's more of like a very subtle purple eye. And um, I use some of these shades right here. And they're just beautiful. Very like... I don't know, just like a fun summer colorful palette that's also just like, um, you know, very wearable. Okay, now I'm going to talk to you guys about some lip products because I have actually four to share today. And before I tell you guys about these lip products, let me just tell you the vibe that I'm into right now. I mentioned this before, but I'm loving very kind of like faint colors on my lips right now, just like subtle colors but more of like a glossy finish. So the first one is the one I'm actually wearing today. This is actually from MAC from the new launch. I will say that this is gonna be limited edition, so if you like this, make sure you buy it very quickly because um, I think once it sells out, it's gone. Anyway, this is in the shade Set to Sizzle, and this is their Luster Lipstick. How gorgeous this is like coral pinky shade for my skin tone, and I really like how it has like this very subtle um, shine as well. So this is beautiful. Within that same collection, they also launched this lipstick in the shade Can's Do. And this, when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so intense. But actually, when you apply it on your hand, it is a very like subtle hot pink shade. Not a very subtle, but a pretty subtle hot pink shade. And it's just beautiful on the lips. You know, really getting into MAC lipsticks again. And I'm going to be doing a whole separate video. Stay tuned for that. Sharing some of my top lipstick picks. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. I'm working on that right now. Stay tuned for that. Okay, next up I have this Kosa Sport um, lip product. I think it's like their lip balm. It's their Hyaluronic Lip Balm in the shade Rush. I'll show you guys what this looks like because this is so interesting. When I saw this, I was like, that shape is going to be so like not practical it's just gimmicky what the heck but of course I tried it and I loved it like I actually think that the shape makes a lot of sense for lip balm and more than anything else of course it does a great job at like hydrating my lips I love the very subtle very subtle light pink shade like you can barely even see it on my hand you'll see it on my lips it's a very subtle light pink shade and I really like it okay, next up I have the Revlon lipstick um, I don't know what this is called the new shine lipstick in glaring coral again such a beautiful coral shade and this will really make your lips look super plump and juicy even for that that plumping subtle lip shade like a corally lip shade this is the one you need it's beautiful all right now let's talk about some nail polishes and i'm going to do this really fast because the red light on my camera is blinking which means it's going to die very soon and i want to get through this video um, so I actually have three nail polishes to share today. The first one is from Essie. This is their Gel Couture in Wearing Hue. I've talked about this nail polish so many times, but this is honestly, oh my gosh, I almost dropped it. 
But this is honestly one of my favorite nail polishes in my collection. I love their Gel Couture because it's much longer lasting than regular nail polish. Um, and I love the shade. I think it's such a beautiful light, 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 like very light baby pink shade um, that just works so well on my skin tone. So I love this. I also have two nail polishes here from um, Olive and June. The first one is SE much pinkier version of this nail polish. This is like a true baby pink. It's stunning. If you're looking for a really pretty wearable pink shade, I would recommend this from Olive and June. See another nail polish here, again from Olive and June, in collaboration with Nabella's um, company Ziba, which is so cool. And this is in the shade Sweet and Gracious. And this is such a unique shade. I am wearing it today. This is like a tangerine yellowy shade like orangey yellowy shade it's so different like i normally don't wear shades like this you guys already know that but i tried this and i like fell in love with it especially like in the warmer months it's just so fun to switch it up and this is beautiful so i had to give a shout out to this all right guys so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed my summer favorites i have a lot more content coming your way so stay tuned make sure you subscribe if you haven't Again, I want to give a huge shout out to Shiseido for sponsoring this video. Definitely check out all the products that I mentioned today linked in the description box below. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!